Hello, and thank you everybody for tuning in today. My name is Gretchen O'Hara, and I'm the Vice President of AI and Sustainability Strategy here at Microsoft US. And it's great to be joining you at the IdeaGen's Dynamic Resiliency Summit, as we see the concept of resilience in business as well as life to be more critical than ever. So included in resilience and recovery is opportunity, particularly around skilling for the future. And so today, I'd love to discuss our Accelerate program, why we're making this investment in skilling, what is the initiative that is included, and how our approach is unique in the market. First, let's set the stage of why we launched the Accelerate program. The rapid acceleration of emerging technology and its impact on the U.S. market and society is redefining our landscape today. This acceleration is only further fueled by the COVID-19 crisis, where 79% of CIOs agree that the notion that COVID-19 pandemic will act as a forcing function to make them digitally transform and move to the public cloud even faster than they had originally planned. So this massive shift is impacting what skills are needed in the future. However, not all of society is benefiting from this digital transformation. 37% of rural Americans still don't have access to broadband at home. And as a result, many of us are experiencing uncertainty and more than eight in 10 Americans, 83%, say that the future of our nation is a significant source of stress. And so the situation and resulting issues create a growing need for empathy. We are facing some unprecedented times. In this global pandemic, we have had to address some pretty incredible problems that range from how we come out of this global economic crisis to the skills that we're going to have to need to collectively use in the recovery of how we serve every individual on the planet, ensuring that we have an inclusive and a diverse workforce of the future, and that the technology and innovation that we have to provide to get out of this global pandemic doesn't actually create a larger digital divide. So now we need to bring more people together as we focus on underserved and underrepresented communities so that everyone can flourish in this recovery today. We see digitization as a massive opportunity, creating benefits for both industry and society. The World Economic Forum estimates that the opportunity is, could be as big as 100 trillion over the next 10 years. It's just simply massive. However, this opportunity comes with significant challenges as digitization is accelerating the need for new jobs and new tech skills. And it's projected by the next year, 27% of roles will be net new due to technology and 54% of employees will require reskilling or upskilling. And now women in particular may be at risk of changing their jobs due to automation. Up to 24% of the total women employed globally will need to change jobs due to automation. And this virtual world post-pandemic is also increasing the digital divide, leaving underserved communities further and further behind. According to Deutsche Bank research, 76% of Blacks, 62% of Hispanics could get shut out completely or be underprepared for the 86% of jobs in the U.S. that will be due to lack of connectivity and technology access. The digitization trend combined with COVID has led to unprecedented growth of virtual and remote education. However, access to broadband, access to the quality of content and remote instruction is vastly different depending on location, community, and those demographics. And those factors can result in learning loss. How many learning students lose during school closures vary significantly, and in some cases, students are not getting any instruction at all, while others may opt out of school altogether. This loss will be greatest among our low-income Black and Hispanic students. In particular, 86% of Black students are currently receiving low-quality or no remote education, with the possibility of losing over 10 months of learning during this pandemic. Compounding learning loss is underserved communities is job loss. And overall, women are impacted as well, 1.8x times more vulnerable in this crisis than men's jobs. And so together, we can leverage this forum to act. This struggle of underserved communities in a world that is rapidly digitizing, as well as the increasing disparity of opportunity for them, is further compounded by systemic injustice. And so in the past year, events created national protests regarding 
current inequities in the U.S. at a systemic level that included racial, economic, gender identity, and ability bias. Empathy in Action was developed as a national platform executed through our local community engagement to the level of the playing field across policing, criminal justice, healthcare, education, skilling, and access, access to opportunity and access to capital. Addressing the need to build sustainable, systemic, and symbolic change across our communities, cities and citizens can empower every individual and organization to achieve more. And we achieved these goals through the initiatives to close the skills gap and leverage our Microsoft platform to drive change in the markets that we serve every day. The Accelerate Skilling Program is a direct result of this broader Empathy in Action initiative. As digital capabilities rapidly accelerate, digital skills across local communities have to keep pace. Microsoft saw the opportunity to upskill the local workforce, particularly underserved communities, and that is how Accelerate was created. A coalition between public and private partnerships, Accelerate will unlock new economic opportunity by closing the digital divide and creating skills for high demand jobs. Accelerate's vision is to become a sustainable initiative that generates economic and community impact targeted to community members who are susceptible to job displacement or unemployment. And we have ambitious targets. We want to reach 6 million by 2022 and achieve this goal. Microsoft cannot execute Accelerate program alone. We have built an extensive ecosystem for each community where we launch Accelerate together with local government, learning partners, and corporate partners we have created a holistic approach to address skilling needs in localities and extending our reach and impact at the city and community level. Our goal is to reach the underserved and key workforce populations, specifically COVID impacted, low, moderate and high digital skills, holistically with the access and the tools to prepare for new and continued career trajectory in a post COVID environment, regardless of your demographic regardless of your economic background. Now, with this alliance of key education, corporate government, and nonprofit leaders, we're on a mission to rapidly increase digital fluency and develop the new tech talent and skills required to build the community in a post-COVID world. In addition, we are looking to create sustainable economic opportunity by building the tech hubs of the future powered by Microsoft and our coalition. We have defined the Accelerate program for an example in Atlanta with a focus on the personas in the needs of digital skills matched with the appropriate skilling accelerated by an ecosystem of education, government, commercial partners. Microsoft's approach is really unique and it's really unlike any other player that is focused oftentimes on one part of the spectrum, whether that's technical or developer roles only. We've taken a data-driven market assessment of the local communities and the citizens in the market and their current digital skills, and then we've mapped them to the 11 personas that represent over 82% of the total market need, spanning from no skills and low all the way to high skills, ensuring that we cover 33 million in the market. And we want to make sure that we're not just skilling the top 3%, but rather through Accelerate, we represent relevant curriculum and learning options hosted by Microsoft and with our partners and community to ensure that we are delivering digital skills and capabilities for underrepresented and underserved from early in career and college graduates to the many roles that will be impacted in digital transformation and job disruption. Essentially, our goal is to close the digital divide for all. And under Accelerate and with our persona approach, we'll deliver a holistic engagement across our cities and states. We'll build digital skills, create new opportunity, and essentially, we will fill jobs. That essentially is the goal of how we think about Accelerate. So in closing, I will ask you all what you can do, your business, in your community. What can you do to lift others up during these difficult times? I ask you, what action will you take so that we can have 1,000 times the impact, 10 new people, 10 new ideas, 10 actions? Think about as a community what we can do, what we can achieve by building an inclusive culture and a true sense of belonging for all, 
creating and developing new economic opportunities, personally committing to changes that are going to last and increase diversity in tech. There's so many efforts being discussed here today for entrepreneurs, enterprises, public policy, personal decisions that I know will not only achieve our goal of gender parity, but will make sustainable change. So what will your 10 actions be? Thank you all for joining me today. I'd be happy to continue this dialogue with you, and I encourage you to please reach out to me either on Twitter or LinkedIn. In addition, you can learn more about Accelerate program and become involved with this initiative in your own community through our website listed below. I want to thank you on behalf of Microsoft and everyone here. Thank you all again for your time and have a fabulous conference.